I'm Sir Tap Tap, and I thought I'd get a little bit critical for today's video for uh, Abyssrium. So I actually have a degree in human-computer interaction, um, which is basically a mix of psychology and computer science. You are very in the way, Parker. Yes. Sorry, my cat is helping. Um, and so basically I always have a pretty critical eye for um, how games set up their interface and um, you know the general user experience. So today I thought I would check out the top five, or what are in my opinion, the top five user interface failings of Abyssrium. So number one actually started out as uh, an improvement to the game. So look at how much freaking coral levels I have. 8,000 corals here. So originally you had to click this upgrade button 8,000 times to upgrade it 8,000 times. Um, so they finally added these level up times 100 buttons and that they they actually go away after just a second uh, which is not even the specific part I was frustrated with but um, they're really fiddly and in order to upgrade you have to upgrade by one level to even see them so I can't like say say I wanted to level up something and only in even intervals of 100 you know keep it nice and clean I can't do that because I have to level up one and then to level 100 um, and it's just really frustrating and another game um, Birdstopia which is basically a clone of a mystery actually has a nice solution to this um, I can't really open uh, that game without it closing tap that fish so um, just imagine there's just a little button that toggles between upgrade 1, upgrade 10, and upgrade 100 levels at a time. So you just tap that button and then the buttons change and there's none of this weird slide out menu thing. Um, it works a lot better and though another thing is there's really no reason for level up times 10. You get the double multiplier at 25 levels so it should really be 1, 25, 100. But, uh, it's not the biggest deal, which is why it's the number five, but it's pretty annoying. For top UI failure number four, we have another coral-related issue. A number of people have complained to me and in other places that they're trying to unlock one of these late-game corals, and they can't produce this much vitality, and it seems like the requirements keep going up. Um, in fact, just look over here. Auto-produce 2.2 CH vitality. Well, it's not too bad. You know, we'll just keep improving, um, and eventually we'll get there, right? 2.2. So we're going to buy a fish. Um, going to buy a nice little sea dragon. There you go. What a cutie. So we have our new fish. Everything's doubled. So we're going to get to that amount of vitality even faster now, right? But wait. Now it says 4.5 CH vitality per second. So people see this and they think, oh no, the, why does it keep going up? Well, here's the thing. The actual cost is just this 105 CS vitality. It doesn't, these are not unlock requirements. Um, now, if you feel stupid for thinking this was, you know, how much you had to unlock, let me show you why you thought that. Because in the fish user interface, this is where the unlock requirements go. And they have, you know, either the X or the check mark to show that you've got them. So you're probably most used to seeing over in the fish tab, you know, these are what the requirements are. This is what you have to pay to actually get it. So it seems, it reads kind of like you have to auto produce a lot of vitality. So, you know, this number has to match that number, right? But no, this is just saying what that coral will do for you. So it's a little confusing. And it's not quite, you know, it's not clear that this is, you know, your benefit. And um, it's kind of just a case of mixing uh, what this section is used for. Like, you know, here it's a description as well. But in Fish, it's not. So it's just kind of confusing. And I'm not 100% sure what they're, the easiest way to fix this would be. But I don't really think this needs to list this auto-produce whatever vitality per second, because it just seems to confuse people. Um, and that number isn't really, like... <laughs> like, that, that number just constantly changes, and... Until you actually get the coral, I'm not sure it really needs to display it, because you just kind of get coral as a matter of progression. But that's something I've noticed people get confused by, but... That's sort of an issue where is not necessarily a completely perfect obvious solution like the prior issue 
which sometimes that's the case in user interfaces. You just have to make some hard decisions. Sometimes you might have to introduce a little bit of extra information or omit information to avoid confusing people. So our next issue, number three, is actually as much of a gameplay issue as it is a UI issue. and It's kind of hard to draw the line. They're kind of, you know, everything really interacts in terms of um, how a user plays a game. But um, you might notice my tank is, frankly, really boring in terms of the fish. I just have these four jellyfish. Why is that? Well, that's just because I the event is on and I want to get the most uh, butterflies. So it turns out only three butterflies will appear over fish. And what that has the side effect of meaning is that the best way to get butterflies or just to tap fish's hearts for the vitality is to only have three or four fish out and you want to have the same kind of fish so they stay in the same general area. And that's frankly really boring. So what that does is it encourages you to have a really boring tank with only a few fish in order to progress the fastest in the events. And that, that kind of sucks, honestly. Um, once again, we'll go back to Birdstopia. Birdstopia just has, it has the same exact thing. It has feathers instead of, you know, butterflies. But um, what Birdstopia does is those feathers can appear over any bird in the game. And if you have more birds, you actually have more chances of getting that stuff. So it encourages you to have even more fish or more birds in that case. But... It would be really nice if, you know, more fish meant more stuff to click on, or just generally, the main, the problem is just that it encourages you to have a boring tank, and this is just unpleasant. I have, you know, how many fish do I have? I have a lot. Um, I have 407 fish, plus 268 more event fish, um, and all of those fish are stored away, so I can, you know, just get a few extra butterflies without as much trouble. Um, Something some people do that's a little bit less boring, but a little bit less effective, is if you get a big swarm of fish, like say any of the event angelfish will do, um, there we go, you just have a big school of the same kind of fish, and um, where are they? That's weird, Where'd the where are the fish? Well, that's kind of a bug. Certain fish seem to spawn way outside of the map, and then they don't even show up for a really long time. Uh, but it's not really one to show up. But anyway, when you have a big school of fish, it can be easier to just tap in the cluster of fish. Um, but that that is a little bit less effective than the jellyfish method. And it's still kind of boring to have to have a big school of fish in order to get those, those hearts, or those, you know, the event currency. So I really wish just, you know, having more fish could be rewarded by, you know, just making it even easier to uh, to get those hearts or to get the the event currency there we there we are see they spawn way off screen but yeah as you can see it's kind of easier to click in just just tap around the general area of the uh, the swarm and they'll uh, they'll give you some hearts but it'll still only be up to three at once so it's actually not optimal to have a big cluster like that which is a problem in my opinion problem number two which is a pretty big problem and pretty pervasive, is the localization in general. I, I tried to pick a specific issue with localization, and I couldn't quite. Um, but let's take a look at... It's in the dolphins. There's some descriptions in the game that are either misleading or actually completely wrong. So, this commercial dolphin, it says, Save a picture of lonely Coralite three times. That's not actually the requirement at all. You actually take pictures of three dolphins, which makes a lot more sense because it's, you know, what's a dolphin? Generally, hidden fish have requirements related to their own species, right? Um, well, not species, because they're individual species, but, you know, the family or whatever. Um, but that one is just completely wrong. There's also, one of these says you have to share something to Twitter. I forget exactly where that one is. Um, I think, oh yeah, it's the Stingray, which is down here. Um, I thought it was down here. Uh, there we go. Share photo of Stingray, Twitter, three times. 
You don't have to share it to Twitter. Um, some people thought that, oh, I don't use Twitter. Do I have to download Twitter to get this? No. You can share it to Instagram. You can share it to just the Android general share thing. As long as you attempt to share, it counts for this. Um, and the, there's some weird bits. Um, if you leave Corelight's dialogue on, uh, I think that's... What is that? I haven't had that on. Oh, yeah, the script, which is another thing. It doesn't... The script, like, what does that mean? But yeah, that means that turns on the core lights dialogue, and most of what the core light says is English, at best, and um, yeah, it's pretty confusing. And another, possibly the worst part of the poor localization, um, well, it's, I'm not even sure if it's localization at this point, but uh, they don't seem very good at math, considering the game is completely about math. Basically, it's just numbers going up, right? Um, but anytime. Something says one, you know, a percentage increase. It actually means percentage multiplied. So this is not, you know, if this was a 200% increase, that would mean I get 300% vitality, which is nice. But that's not the case. I actually get 200% vitality total. So if you see 110% increase, it actually is a 10% increase. It's a 110% multiplication. So. Whoever wrote all of that is just extremely bad at math, frankly, and um, that's a that's been in there since the beginning of the game. It's almost been out a year, and the, there's this basic math failure that, like, arg. It's it's frustrating. I, I don't know why. Like, these should just be changed to multiple, or actually lead the percentage in percent. But yeah, generally. Percentages are wrong in this game, except for this one. The short and cooldown time is actually accurate. Um, but yeah, if you look in, where else is that? It's even misleading in the things you pay for. 110% um, increase, at least I'm pretty sure it is. But the 110% increase, like, all of the other 110% increases are just actually 10% increase. So imagine paying 5 bucks, and you think you're going to get double plus 10. And you get 10%, and it's like, oh. That's a little bit less cool, isn't it? And finally, our number one biggest issue is actually an issue most people probably wouldn't have had. But if you do have it, it's a complete disaster. And that is the way the game handles cloud saves. So if you save the, cloud, the game in the cloud, it actually has a little overwrite prompt, which is nice. If you load the game, and somebody else has been using your Facebook or your iCloud account or whatever you save to, and they have more recent progress, the game will automatically load that progress from the server without warning you, without giving you any option to not load that save data. And it'll overwrite your tank. So there have been cases where people share a Facebook, um, they both link the Facebook to Abyssrium, and somebody starts playing, you know, say somebody's been playing Abyssrium for six months, they have a billion fish, they have all of this cool stuff, then their friend, who's sharing their Facebook, which by the way, don't do, but it happens, um, so their other, their friend loads it up, they save to the cloud, you know, it's, it seems like normal stuff, and they don't notice anything's different, but then person one loads their game, and Abyssrium, without warning, says, oh, I found a new save on the server, I'm gonna download that for you, and suddenly, instead of having 500 billion fish, you have three fish fish because your friend save overwrote your save and <laughs> that's a complete disaster it's kind of funny that uh, it is actually it, it, it prompts you for the less dest destructive action of saving the progress to cloud manually um, it does automatically save too which is nice it didn't used to auto save and so many people lost data or they stopped playing and then they deleted the app and they don't have the data which is such a shame so i'm glad it auto saves to cloud and it's cool that it has an auto restoration feature but what they should really do is when it tries to do the auto load it should give you this it should say hey um the last time it was saved was this you have this many fish um i think it was Bird, it was either Pocket Plants or Birdstopia, but when I was setting up a video, another one of these games prompted me with how many plants or how many birds or whatever, you know, how much progress I had made roughly. So, like, 
if somebody else had logged into my Facebook and saved a thing and they had three fish and I saw this thing here and it said, last save time, you know, th that doesn't mean too much. But it said, you know, you've got three fish and I want to download this file. I'd be like, no way, I have way more than three fish. Um, so yeah, the, the cloud save thing is, it's one of those things that most people are never going to encounter. And I hope you never do encounter it. But if it happens, you can lose months of progress. And I know people have talked to, some people have had success talking to Abyssrium and they get some of their fish back and they get some vitality for their trouble. Uh, but generally, like, it's a benefit for the user and for their support to not have to deal with that. Just, you know, all they have to do is add a prompt before they overwrite the save. So it's a big catastrophe and it's a really easy fix. So that's why it's number one. So let's go over a quick little recap. So number five, not a huge issue, but a really easy fix is this level up times 100 thing. Just, just a little button that says, you know, toggles, toggle between the levels instead of this weird halfway measure that, that keeps disappearing when I want to click the frickin' button. It's frustrating. Number four is this wording is a little bit confusing and this one I dumped down because it's one of those issues where I can totally see why people had the problem but at the same time this is the description and <laughs> they kind of got to put a description somewhere right so it's kind of there's not the easiest solution there which is why I dumped that one down a bit problem number three which I find myself increasingly frustrated by and why I will be glad to not have an event for a month, frankly. Um, I love the events, but I, I'm so tired of not having my fish out because I want to get the event currency, and it's just such a shame. So I really would appreciate if they would change things up so that the more fish you have, the more butterflies you get instead of vice versa, because this way it just makes the game so much more boring. Number issue number two, localization and text in general, pretty bad. They've allegedly made some improvements. I've I, I've seen them do updates and they say they fix things. Um, I've never noticed an increase in copy quality. Frankly, the the, the copy just seems pretty poor. Um, like this is the sort of thing that just like one. English editor, one native English editor, should be able to go through the app in, you know, a week and fix absolutely everything and confuse a lot less people. It should be a pretty easy fix and I see lots of questions about this 200% increase and how accurate it is, which is not very. So that's issue number two. And biggest issue, rarest issue, but easiest fix and most devastating consequences is definitely the cloud save issue. They really got to institute some kind of, do you want to load this cloud save? And it is a good thing that they added automatic cloud saves. Because like I said, so many people lost um, before Abyssrium did events. A lot of people just deleted the game because, you, know, uh, you know, they were done. And so they didn't think about saving the cloud or maybe they hadn't saved for a while. So the auto cloud saves are good. Automatic restores with no confirmation. That is the problem. So, I have other issues with Abyssrium. Um, I, I had a video before where I kind of talked about um, the problems like, you know, the striped marlin being way too freaking rare. I get a question about the striped marlin at least a couple times a week still. Um, and I've, I've gotten those questions for months. Um, it's just that rare. It's just that rare. But um, those are the biggest user interface problems and some things that could fix them. Um, I'm really looking forward to the expand update. If you haven't heard about that, you can check that out on, I have a big playlist that just has all my Abyssrium videos so you can check out what's coming up. Really excited for expand, want to see exactly how it all works. Um, I do wish they would kind of keep working on some of the interface stuff because some of the stuff, like I said, the 200% increase problem has been in the game since September? Uh, whenever the game launched, actually maybe July of last year, and <laughs> they just never fixed it. But uh, hopefully that was a little bit enlightening. I wonder if, <laughs> let me know in the comments if you've been infuriated by any of these issues. I know I, I've completely stopped, well almost completely stopped upgrading Coral because it is so much effort for so little reward at this point in the game. I've got CE Vitality and 
the, the, the per second vitality is just nothing. If I cast Song of the Moon and Delicious Food, it's just more vitality than my per second vitality ever is. It's just, it's silly. Anyway, tap tap signing off. Let me know if you have any other ideas for what I could cover in a video. Lots of people ask for videos and it's like, I've kind of covered what there is to cover, in my opinion. No, I don't usually do top 10 sort of things, so this is kind of an experiment for me. Um, but like, I usually just do a new video or two every update, and then I honestly don't really play too much once I've, you know, finished up. But if you have any ideas or suggestions for what I could do for a video, do let me know. But otherwise, I'll definitely have a video out for the expand update. And uh, happy fishing!